Hello, hello, hello to you, YouTube, and hello to you, my fellow metalheads. This is Duke Krishnak reporting in with yet another brand new album review. This time it is from the album known as Dismas, from the band known as Through the Eyes of the Dead. So, this album has a lot of hype in it, and it does not disappoint. What I mean by the fact that it has a lot of hype is that this band really... Uh, came onto the market just as Deathcore was starting to boom up to have its sort of explosion into popularity within extreme metal. And what they offered is um, more on the melodic side of things. They took, you know, what Deathcore normally is, which is, well, Deathcore is, you know, death metal and metalcore, basically. Which basically means that it has moments that it slows down and then speeds back up and it has sort of these little bit of repetitive parts in it uh, within like, you know, breakdowns and around it that some people hate and some people really like because it sort of brings you to this point where it's just very easy to headbang along and then it just throws you headlong into the carnage. And some people think that that slowing down aspect in Deathcore is not a good thing and that it's generic and pretty much anyone can do. It's too repetitive, whatever. There's lots of gripes and uh, pros and cons with Deathcore. But what they added into this, and what I think was their main impact within Deathcore, is just the fact that they expanded the horizon outwards. So they made the more melodic sounds of, of like melodic death metal and threw it in there with their Deathcore. And not only is that distinct because it hadn't really been all that well done, but it also added to the ferocity, it added to the bestial nature of the thing. Uh, it made it quicker and more intense and in your face, which is why some people didn't really like Deathcore. Um, so it kind of helped broaden the horizons to more traditional death metal fans and um, melodic death metal bands. And in this album, they definitely continue to do such. They do not let you down at all. Um, the title track um, well, not the title track, the, uh, opening track, and this song also was the first, I believe it was the first thing that they released as, like, a teaser trailer for the album, and needless to say, it's one of their best fucking songs ever. Just check this shit out. <laughs> Yeah, it just, it's a very memorable and understandable in those parts, which adds to, you know, its memorableness. And it's just, it's fucking hard-hitting, but it's not overly fast and overly complex. Uh, it's just a nice way to start things off. It's a big punch in the face, but at the same time, it's still melodic and it's still catchy enough to, like, pull you into it. And show you that this is still the same band you guys fell in love with ten fucking years ago. And now they're fucking back a decade later after breaking up. And it just, they just, with this start, it's a beautiful way to start things off. So props to that. That is a fucking solid ass song. I uh, hate the living. Jesus Christ. Um, you know, and throughout the album, it's very solid like this. They do their normal... Um, sound wherein they're playing really melodic and almost creepily pretty and then it's just hard hitting and fucking intense and then they just kind of slow it down with like a mini breakdown and they just weave these different aspects into their music so effortlessly and that's what really makes it it doesn't seem forced it's not an awkward blend of just too many genres it's just perfectly done and they even, you know, throw in a couple of little solos from time to time, like they have done in their previous album. And to say the least, these solos do not disappoint. I'll give you one uh, about halfway through the album here. Okay, here you go.
yeah, it's not overly fast. It's not shredding in your face and just showing you how fucking amazing it is. Their, their playing is, which is nice because we all know they can play fast. We all know they can play pretty and melodic. So what I like about this, particularly being at almost the exact middle marker of the album, is that it adds um, sort of a relief to the just intense, brutal, just in your face and of it all, and sort of adds this more calm, relaxing, you can take, take a breather while just admiring the beauty and the craftsmanship of the album before it just plunges you right back into the fucking chaos. Well placed, well timed, and not overly shreddy, and not overly slow. They did it just right, in my opinion, for where they placed it and what they wanted to achieve with that solo. And it kind of keeps up with this theme that I've been speaking of this whole time throughout it. But what I also really like about it is how the album ends. I like to think that the best way to divide an album, it's a pretty logical, easy one, is how it starts you off, the middle contents of it, and the last song or two, and, you know, how that finishes you off. Does it just kind of make you just be like, damn... That was intense, and it just makes you kind of think about it. It's slow, it's thoughtful, it's melodic. Or does it just give you that final push off after a slower part? It really makes the album kind of feel complete and finished. And they really do a good job at doing that, as opposed to just just a constant blur of their sound, um, of the fast sort of intenseness of it all. It doesn't just like keep going through the whole thing and then just kind of stop all of a sudden. Really like how they sort of slow it down a little bit and but keep it sort of not too slow, right? It's still through the eyes of the dead. It's not too doomy, but then it just kind of fades out for a little bit. But it doesn't fade out too long and too abruptly that it feels awkward. It's kind of slowed down for the last song and then it just kind of trails off like damn. Goodbye. I'm show you what I'm talking about there. See, it's very slow. But it still has a constant, you know, faster but not overly fast double bass that's still reminding you that this is definitely a hard fucking album. But enough to kind of wind things down. And then it just kind of nicely fades out towards the end and just kind of makes you feel like, almost like, oh shit, I'm gonna miss you. Like, goddamn, it's really over. <laughs> oh, the three. And that's that. Um, all in all, album is really goddamn solid, you guys. Um, the hype is fucking real for this album. I really don't have that much to gripe about. Um, now, I know I'm saying that they kind of take their classic sound and then just redo their classic sound as... And it's just what they sound like, you know, they do this, 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 and this, and weave it, weave it all together, and that's what they're known for. And that's what they do. But this album, you can kind of tell the sort of connections between each album. Each album can be a little bit more Death Corey, or a little bit more melodic. And this album kind of fuses it all together, and just puts it into this perfect mix. So, all in all, I think it's really fucking solid work, guys amazing fucking job um don't really have too much to gripe about it i really just uh don't know how you're gonna follow it up <laughs> you know what i mean uh there's so much there's only so much more space for improving with these guys because they're already just fucking amazing 
So all in all, I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10 stars. I really didn't have any total gripes about it. Very memorable. Um, it, I don't know, it's, just, it's fucking great. Um, is it perfect? I'm not sure. Uh, maybe if I listen to it a few more times, I don't know. Is it their best album? Maybe. I, I'm going to have to go back through and re-listen to their other albums to really make that decision. But it's solid shit. Just keep it up, guys. Keep it the fuck up. Uh, if you like this content, if you like Through the Eyes of the Dead, whatever, whatever you like. If you just feel like liking this, go ahead. If you feel like dropping a comment, let me know what you agree or what you disagree with. If you really like it and you want to hear more videos from me, then please subscribe and check out my other stuff. Thank you and have a good day.